Hello, in this video we'll have a look on what is a SharePoint lookbook and how you can actually provision many of these templates directly to your own tenant or to your demo tenant to test them in practice in SharePoint Online. So first of all, AKMS uh, SharePoint uh, Lookbook is the URL and this is actually the SharePoint Lookbook site where we are currently and you can see great looking modern SharePoint sites and for all of these sites you can actually go to inside of the uh, or have more additional details around the site itself and how it's being actually built, also what kind of web parts and what kind of sections are available in the site. Now, wouldn't it be super cool if you would be able to actually provision these lookbook sites already today to your existing demo tenant or a test tenant or the tenant which is available for you. Uh, and that's actually possible using the SharePoint provisioning a tool and provisioning service which is currently in a public beta testing in the address of uh, provisioning sharepointpmp.com. So in here you go to the provisioning sharepointpmp.com you can actually see the similar kind of sites and similar kind of sample uh, content as within the lookbook site and you can select for example this template template uh, from, the, from the site, uh, have a look on what kind of template it is, what does it actually contain, have a look on the full layout, also important thing, have a look on if there's any pre-requirements, uh, for example some of the solutions or templates do install SPFX SharePoint Framework solutions, so you need to have an app catalog present within your tenant. Now, this tool right now is available for tenant administrators um, and we can actually then install any of these templates directly to the tenant which we are signed into. So I'm going to click add to my tenant, that was that button add to your tenant uh, in here, that's going to actually prompt me to grant the permissions as the tenant administrator uh, for the tool itself and that th there is quite a few set of permissions which the tool requires and by the way if this is too much to grant from your perspective you can actually apply these templates also using PMP PowerShell without uh, granting all of these permissions. Clicking accept that will then actually show the detailed uh, UI of the selected template. So basically we're able to provide additional parameters, additional settings uh, for the provisioning, like what is the notification email, where we will get an email when the provisioning is completed. And then providing a site title uh, where uh, for the site which is getting provisioned and site URL. Uh, in our case we're going to use just the default Contoso workshop and when I'm moving away from the text box it's going to validate the site URL. Clicking provision we're going to do a confirmation on, on the fact and a high level estimate how long it's going to actually take for the provisioning and you will get an email to the provided email address whenever the provisioning is completed. Clicking confirm that actually starts the provisioning process and like I said uh, we will do we will get a notification email to the given email address uh, when the provisioning is completed. Uh, you can actually see the URL here uh, but right now as this is a new site collection and uh, that site collection does not exist uh, so it's and in general it's good to wait until the email is received before you go to the site so there's no conflicts around you modifying something at the same time as the provisioning is happening. Now as this takes a while uh, let's actually speed up the video until we will actually get the email telling us that the provisioning is completed uh, in the based on the settings which we provided. And there we go, now we've got an email available which is basically saying that the site has been provisioned and we will have, we have a, a uh, well, we have the link to the site collection and we can click the Gondoza workshop link in here. That's going to open up a link directly to the site collection and we can see that beautiful uh, SharePoint lookbook site being present on the tenant which I was signed in. And again this is great example content, some of the templates do provide a tenant level settings, some of the templates are more simple like this one which only provides some example content in a site collection level. So we do recommend testing these templates first in a test tenant before actually moving them or using them in the production uh, because some of the settings might be visible across the tenant level. But making SharePoint lookbook uh, sites and lookbook designs available within your uh, any existing tenants you can use the provisioning service and if you're looking into getting a tenant where you can actually test this please sign up for the Office 365 developer program uh, where you can actually get a free tenant uh, for development and testing usage. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.